What's up guys? Today I'm working on something new. A lot of you probably know I like to go out west and um, I've been camping in my truck. I, I built a truck bed camper a couple years ago. I put it in right here. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like in the back of my truck. And I got a video that I can put down below to show you guys uh, what it looks like. But I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna put it on a trailer. So I bought a Lowe's trailer, uh, four by six, and I'm putting some bigger tires on it. And I'm gonna mount it on there and I'm gonna take you guys along on the way for what I'm doing. So this is what the current uh, tires look like. Um, I'm gonna put some bigger tires on. Uh, those are gonna be my spares. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like. So I got these rims, these are Jeep rims, and I got them from a guy on Facebook for a hundred bucks. And two of them still have decent tread, so those can be my spares. That's the underside, that's why it looks so bad. Um, but I got, and then I got two new tires, uh, this one and then the other tire, which is um, a Michelin. This one's a good year, but I don't really care. They're both brand new, I got those for $90. So I got four sets of rims and uh, two brand new tires. I spent $190 and I already took off, cut off the fenders um, because they were gonna be too small for the tires I'm gonna put on. So there's one and then the other one is right there. So to get these things to fit, because obviously I have these little tires on there, I measured the bolt pattern. It's five on four and a half, which is the same as a Jeep. And I bought some spacers. These are two inch spacers, uh, four on five and a half. And I'm gonna put them on there and then put the tires on. So here's what it looks like with a spacer on it. And obviously you don't have to use an air gun, but it makes it faster. So here's the uh, one of the tires I'm gonna put on, the one I just took off. So we'll get it set up, put it on there. All right, so here's what it looks like. They're actually the same size tires as I have on my Frontier, so I'll have the same ground clearance. It's gonna be the baddest little camper around. Uh, I got about two inches um, of clearance on the side here, which should be plenty. Uh, there it is. And uh, those boards are gonna be the floor for me to mount my little camper to, uh, but looks pretty sweet. I'm really excited they fit like that. On to the next step. Today, I'm going to remove that tailgate. I'm gonna put this wood on the uh, floor. Uh, I bought a jack right there. I'm gonna put that on if I can. I'm not gonna do any welding stuff because I got a buddy that's gonna help me out with that stuff. So I'm gonna just set up the camera, get to work, and I'll kind of keep you guys posted or show you everything after I'm done. All right, so we just cut the um, tailgate off. You couldn't just knock out the pins because the way it's put together, um, they're knocked in from both sides, so you can't take it off. So we, or I, cut it off and uh, grinded it down, and we're going to use this as a step um, to get into the camper when I'm done with it. So on to the next one.
All right, there we go. We got the jack on. Uh, I cut the bolts off and then cut this off down here too because it was going all the way down to like right here. So, uh, can do like that. Make sure. Regular jack, go all the way down and back up. So, there we go. Good enough. So here's an update. I got the boards all down. They look really good, or it looks really good. Uh, cut them off the length I needed. I got the uh, cut off the tailgate. Um, we're gonna use that to make a step to get out into the camper. Uh, I put on the jack. So um, the plan is tomorrow and the next day to do some welding and make a mount for those spare tires up here on the front. Uh, use that rack or the tailgate to make a step into the camper that'll fold up and uh, fenders. And that's all I have left really other than mounting the camper. It's coming along really nice, looks good. All right guys, so I haven't given an update in a couple days and this is what we got going on so far. Um, my buddy worked on this for me this weekend today is Monday and Saturday and Sunday worked on it uh, the spare tires will go in here um, I'll do a walk around when I'm done with everything I bit the bullet and bought some fenders they're uh, 32 by 9 inch fenders they already had the back on them as you can see there and I hated to having to buy them but we tried to make them and they just end up looking awful um, we extended or my buddy uh, extended out the the trailer a little bit welded it um, this is a step that'll come down that'll be on the back of the camper that's sitting right there <clears throat> So it'll it'll fold down um, <clears throat> Right now, I'm just spray painting all the metal and I'm gonna spray paint spray paint the rims also So everything's gonna be black um, <clears throat> So I'm just getting everything painted up I already got the spare tires painted right there and then I'm gonna work on mounting up the camper and Just seeing how everything looks and then like I said, I'll do a walk around again uh, when everything's kind of getting done. my fuel tank on the front that's just gonna be extra fuel uh, for the truck I always carry a five gallon jug but now I can just carry ten gallons in there this uh, can wasn't being used for anything metal container so I thought it looked super sweet on the front and I also wanted just a little more weight on the tongue it's not like it's just leaning towards the back but um, I just want a little more weight on the tongue so this should fold up right perfect up underneath here like that and uh looks pretty pretty sweet up there i like it um welded the frame on here um so everything looks real good man that looks sweet up there i could almost if i wanted to one day turn that into a grill how cool would that be <laughs> uh for now though it's gonna be a fuel, fuel tank now i'm gonna go to the back and put my cable on uh for my step All 
right, so we got our straps on there, or cables. Um, I left that a little bit of angle, as you can see, because when you step on it, it's going to go down. So uh, I put a handle on here last night so you can hold it when you snap it in. And there we go. Cable hangs down just like a tailgate. And then if you pull this, put it like that. Just fall down like that. There it is. All right, guys, what I'm doing now is the very last thing. I'm gonna jack up the, the trailer, pull this tire off, install this bearing buddy which what it does is you can grease it up and it's got a spring on it, which you can kind of see right there. You can see it better from the other side. Uh, and put grease in it and it keeps pushing grease in there uh, on your bearings, so it makes me feel a little more comfortable for long range trips. So I'm gonna pull this tire off and get it put on there. Well guys, I'm 100% completely finished. Just finished everything. I'm gonna do a walk around and show you. The only thing I might add in the future, well, I'm sure I'll add some other stuff, but the only thing that I'm really thinking about adding in the future is some LED brake lights along the back. I think that'll look pretty cool, like a strip of them. But uh, right now it's done. I'm leaving for New Mexico and Texas next week, so it's gonna go on its first trip. So I'm gonna do you a walk around one last time and show you everything. Start out with this little uh, bearing buddy that I put on. So that's what it looks like. You can see it's got a little spring in there and the spring will keep pushing the uh, grease in there. So I got it full up with grease. Then it's got this little cap on there, keep mud and dirt and everything out. And there it is. So here's what everything looks like. You can see it sits level with the truck. I'm just going to tell you how I got everything. Once again, I already had the camper, so I'm just putting it together. I bought the trailer from Lowe's. I bought the stand from Northern Tools. I got the rims. They're old Jeep rims from a guy on Facebook for 100 bucks, and they had four tires on them. Two of the tires held air and had a little bit of tread, so these are my spare tires, and I got um, a local body or a lo local place to mount them up for me. There's the other one. You can still see they have enough tread to use. They charged me like 10 bucks to mount them up. The other two tires I got uh, from a guy off of Facebook, brand new. I pay $45 a piece for them, and they are not the same tire. They're the same size, 31 1050s, uh, but one's a Michelin and one's a, a Goodyear, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, painted the rims, um, bought fenders. Didn't really want to do that, but I really didn't have a choice. The other fenders really didn't look good. So I bought the fenders from Tractor Supply. They were $65 a piece. They're 32 by nine inch fenders. So they fit really well. I did, I don't know if I showed this. I did trim a little bit of the fender right here to give me just a little more room. I did that on both sides. Got a permanent license plate. We extended the trailer out a little bit. My buddy helped me a ton with the welding. I'm just learning how to weld. So he did a ton of the welding. Mounted decking boards on the trailer and used two and a half inch wood screws to attach the camper to the trailer. I did use some angle aluminum right here, uh, just kind of as a, a frame around the trailer and uh, or around the camper to attach it to the trailer. We did the drop down step and uh, used cables to keep it in place. Pull it like this, pull it like this, and it drops down and give you a step to get in. You can see it's not quite flat, but once you step on it, it flattens out. <clears throat> and uh, then the last touch that I put on there, this is a 10 gallon gas tank. I welded it to the tongue right up under there. And uh, this was kind of being thrown away. Wasn't used for anything. It's pretty sweet, it'll, it'll look awesome. So there it is. Um, many campers, off-road campers sell for seven to like $35,000, depending on what you want. And this one cost me way less than that, maybe 11, 1200 bucks, 1200 bucks max, but 
probably more like 11. So uh, it's important to have friends that'll help you out. One thing I did forget to say is I did put some uh, spacers, two inch spacers on the wheels. Uh, it's a 2000 pound axle and it's gonna be plenty. I, I'm guessing this thing weighs, I don't know. I can pick up one side of it. So it doesn't weigh a ton. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I'm looking forward to breaking it in and driving across the country next week. If you have the money to buy one, go buy it. If you don't, build one. Uh, if you don't know how to do certain stuff, get a friend to help you. And don't forget to look for bargains um, on Facebook or Craigslist or wherever you can find it. Or if you know anybody that has stuff that you can use, if you're building one, do that too. Every, I'm really proud of this thing. It turned out really good. It looks awesome. And I know I'm gonna use it a ton. If you like outdoors, hunting and fishing and this kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I put stuff up as often as I can. If you have any questions, put them down below and I will answer them the best I can. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.